Other news this evening, a local family's search for a pet cost them more than they bargained for when they became victims of an increasingly popular scam. Yes, yeah, this happens a lot. The iTunes Ginger Allen introduces us to a couple who tells us they're now out of tens of thousands of dollars. You're about to meet a family who fell victim to gift card fraud. And you're probably thinking, another gift card scam, we've heard it before. But this investigation isn't about gift card draining, which I've covered for years. This is a different issue and a new warning. If I ever see another gift card, <laughs> I'm not giving my kids gift cards for Christmas. Meet Kelly and Michael Reagan, a couple who will probably never look at these little plastic cards the same again. It all started with not one, but two heartbreaking losses about a year ago. He's the one we adopted from the shelter at PetSmart over in the Alliance. Turned out to be the best dog I ever had. And then we have Miss Maggie here. Boy, I tell you, she let you know who's in charge. <laughs> the Reagans soon decided they wanted another dog, so they began searching on Facebook. She found one that she liked, uh, went ahead and um, talked to the owner and said, oh, well, just you can send a deposit. But not just any deposit. The breeder did not want cash nor credit. They go, no, gift card's easier for us because then we don't have to pay for a credit card machine to run your credit cards. Reluctantly, the Reagans bought a gift card and sent a photo of the 16-digit number and PIN. And then from there, okay, well, you gotta pay for the shot records and whatnot. And then, okay, transportation, okay, well, you gotta rent the crate and you get the refund back once they deliver the dog. Pretty soon you're about $5,000 in the hole and all you've seen is a picture of the dog. After a couple of months of back and forth, the Reagans finally realized this was shady and they decided to cut their losses. This is the picture of the Basset Hound they had to give up on. On the breeder's website and Facebook, which are both now down, he was named Blitz. But the I-team learned Blitz is really Snoopy, and he's not up for adoption. Using a reverse Google image search, we trace this photo to Snoopy's owner in Pennsylvania, and she actually told us this happens quite a bit. Someone had stolen Snoopy's photo for this fraud. Now back to the Reagans. Unfortunately, their story doesn't end here. The couple went back to Facebook and continued searching, and they fell in love again, this time with this little guy they hoped to name Bentley. But once again, a breeder asked them to send a gift card as a deposit for shipping crates and drugs to sedate Bentley during delivery. And once again, this breeder ran into delays. Our van broke down in Kansas someplace. Well, we're gonna be a little late. We got stopped by the police. Three days later, don't hear from them, get a call back. Oh, well, we're ready to deliver. So what do you mean? You should already be halfway here. And then... They said the dog is dead. Bentley had apparently died. But the I-team did another reverse image search and learned Bentley is really an Adobe stock photo from dailypaws.com. And remember the delivery guy that was pulled over? Well, that image actually comes from the state of New Jersey's YouTube page. It's a video about safety tips if you're pulled over by the police. The Reagans say they are now down nearly $20,000, and they're far from alone. In less than a three-year period, the Federal Trade Commission found Americans lost $690 million in gift card payment scams. The Better Business Bureau says in 2023, this fraud was up 50% year to year, with more than 1,000 cases nationwide last year. And that's just those that were reported. We know that fraud is a chronically underreported crime because the victims often feel shame and stigma. Uh, they often are, hear things like, how could you be so stupid to fall for that? John Breo is with the National Consumers League. Scammers are incredibly adept at pushing our emotional buttons. Technology is just making it uh, easier to identify particular victims and tailor pitches to them specifically. It was a very dramatic thing, so I just felt like we needed to fill that void really fast. And I really just put the dog, but it wasn't worth what we put ourselves through. Fortunately, the Reagans eventually found and adopted a new dog. But there are two important takeaways here. One, you should never make a payment with a gift card. If someone asks you to do that, that's a red flag. And two, if you have questions about a product or an animal, do what we did. Start with a reverse image search. It's very simple. Open up Google, drag and drop the image in the search bar, and then see if that image pops up in other places.
I'm Ginger Allen for CBS News Texas. Well, that was a